everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. Today's video is going to be pretty much a continuation of last week's video. I'm gonna just be preparing for the vendor market that I have coming up on July 22nd. It is my first ever craft fair that I'm ever doing, so I just wanna make sure that I'm super prepared, so I'm just gonna be gathering lots of supplies and also making sure I have enough product that I want to bring with me. I'm gonna start by tackling making some vinyl stickers. So I'm gonna be making some of those mirror vinyl stickers that you've probably seen on like Etsy or I've seen them on TikTok. And I'd like to make some of those because I'm trying to do that thing that like I've seen on TikTok where you make like three tiers of pricing of products. So I'm gonna have like the vinyl mirror stickers as kind of like my lower tier and then possibly a couple of other little things. And then I have like my hats and my apparel as my middle tier and then my diaper bag is kind of like the higher tier. So I thought that'd be a really good idea. So I got a bunch of removable adhesive vinyl because I thought that'd be better than getting permanent vinyl in case people want to like, you know, change out whatever design they got. So I got a bunch of different colors. I got black, I got white, and then I got kind of like my brand colors. I got this mint color, and then I got peach, and then I got just like a pink. So I've already made a bunch of designs using Procreate. So now all I have left to do is import them into the Cricut design area and then I need to cut them out. So let's go ahead and set up the Cricut. I'm beginning this process by cutting out all of my designs to put on a mirror that will actually be displayed at the market so people can see what designs I have to offer. first issue here. One of the designs that I cut on this page is pretty delicate so I needed to be more gentle when weeding these designs. This one was lost but I learned a valuable lesson to be a little more chill when taking the extra vinyl off. was cut a piece of transfer tape to size to put on top of the vinyl so I can put it on the mirror. This part was really satisfying. I just repeated this process until I had all my designs cut out in black. I tested out this little experimental technique to try to help with the more dainty stickers and I used a razor blade to help cut those stickers out individually so that I was pulling up less vinyl to minimize my risk of messing them up and it worked pretty well. cutting out my color options to put on display. Thank you. 
here are all my stickers weeded and ready to transfer onto my display mirror. First, I gotta cut them out though. just doing a rough placement and see where I want the decals to actually go. I had to do some minor adjustments while actually putting them on, but I tried to make it pretty close to the setup.
here is the final product of all that hard work and I think it looks great. I think I could have maybe done a little better with the placement of a few, but overall I think I did a good job. I added numbers beside each decal so that they can be easily identified and easier for me to get out of whatever storage container they're going to be in for the market. So working on that mirror was pretty tedious and time consuming. Definitely the most tricky and difficult part was putting the stickers on and taking the transfer tape off. That part was definitely kind of the most time consuming part and it was a little bit tricky to kind of like put things where I wanted them to be. I probably could have spaced them a little bit better, but it was really hard thinking about how to space everything with all the different stickers that I had. So I've already used the Cricut to cut all of my color vinyl. So I'll show you what that whole situation is looking like. So here's a look on all of my cut vinyl for my stickers. I still need to weed them, but this took a really long time getting this cut on the Cricut. So I'm probably just gonna do it in stages. So probably what I'll do right now is just cut these vinyls in their individual stickers and then just put them aside so that I can weed them at a later date. So I'll take you along with me as I do that. It was kind of hard to see the lines where the stickers have been cut. So in these clips, you'll see me looking really intently to make sure I'm not cutting anything off. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call it at that tonight and hang out with my husband. So these are all the ones that I was able to cut out tonight and here are actually some scraps that I can use to make other ones. But yeah, I think that was pretty good. So finally a box of my diaper bags came. I've literally been waiting for these since like February for them to get here. Um, this box was actually shipped faster than the rest of my order so I'm still having to wait on the rest of them but I was able to get out some pre-orders and I think I'm gonna have to save the rest for the market just in case the rest don't get here in time. So that's kind of annoying but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and start packing up some of the pre-orders and getting them sent out. This order right here is for Abby and she got the Ethan bag. Abby is actually expecting a baby in July so I'm super excited for her and her family and I'm super grateful that she chose my company for her diaper bag. Next up, we have an order for Susie, and she also got the Ethan bag. Thanks again, Susie. I think you made a good choice.
The next pre-order I'm sending out is for Becca. Becca ordered the Bailey bag and she got it embroidered. I meant to video it with my actual camera, but here's some footage I got with my phone. It looks so cute and I hope Becca loves it. I'm extremely happy that these bags are finally going to Loving Homes after such a long wait for them to get to me. So I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping this video up. I know that I left last week's vlog off with kind of like a teaser for this one and saying that I was going to talk about something, but I definitely didn't get around to doing it, so that'll definitely have to be in the next vlog. So keep thinking about what you think I'm going to be making, but I want to end on two things that I just got today that I think are going to be really important for the craft fair. So let's check them out. So the first package that I got from Venmo was completely free. I just had to say I want it and they sent it to me. And it includes a bunch of stuff with like my business Venmo QR code. So that if someone's like walking around the craft fair and they don't particularly like want to use like their debit card or credit card or don't have cash, they can use Venmo. So that's pretty cool. And then the second thing is I got the Shopify chip reader. So this is obviously really important. So people, if they want to use their credit card, I will have that available and it'll connect directly to my Shopify website so I can have all of my inventory accounted for on there. And then people can just purchase like they're purchasing from my website, but they're purchasing from me so that it can help track my inventory and process card payments. So that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked this video, please be sure to like it and subscribe if you want to see some more behind the scenes small business content. And next week's vlog is just going to be some more getting ready for the market. So I hope to see you in the next one.